excited to have an Nancy inspired day. I've been seeing it all over TikTok and I wanted to just do a day that felt like the movies. The Holiday is probably my number one favorite movie of all time. It's just my comfort movie doing things that just make you feel good more like a slow paced kind of lifestyle i think the essential to having an anti Myers day is just having a day filled with things you love that's the idea today is sunday and i think on sundays having a good comfort breakfast is key so we're gonna make pancakes having a nice breakfast is so nancy myers coded and then we're gonna go to the farmer's market get some flowers and maybe have a picnic later and i'm gonna bake i'm about to make pancakes and we got this pancake mix from air one this is basically just like a gluten-free version which i thought might be nice to just make it a little bit healthier it's with almond meal maybe trying to find a nancy Myers inspired playlist on Spotify might be nice. Nancy Myers kind of mood. Let's see. Oh, breakfast in a Nancy Myers kitchen. This one's it. We actually like to do a breakfast like that on Sundays kind of often I guess at least once a month it's just so nice to do something like that and just make ordinary moments special I know we're doing a feel good day off to such a good start I just feel so good well probably because I just showered and my hair was so greasy so I definitely needed that also I'm just feeling really good I'm gonna get ready I'm gonna show you guys my outfit because it's very Nancy Myers inspired it's like kind of a coastal feel to it. We kind of have to hurry up um, because the farmer's market is closing soon. I just want to go check out the one near our house that I've never actually been to. Pretty much dedicated to the one in Brentwood. It's just the best farmer's market ever. We don't have time to go all the way to Brentwood. We're not going to pick up a lot of things either. We might get salmon. That's what I like to get from the farmer's market. And maybe some peaches. Whatever else we think might be nice we'll get as well. We could probably walk the beach right after because it's right near the beach. And I'm just putting on some makeup for the day. My natural everyday thing that I do. The Anastasia Brow Freeze Gel. It's so good if you, oop, if you like laminated brows. I've been really liking this primer. It's supposed to be firming and give you a filter effect. I just like the way that it gives like my skin a little bit of a shine. If you're doing a everyday makeup kind of thing or just like a light makeup, I think it looks nice with your tinted moisturizer. I don't know if the camera picks it up. I've been really liking this for a while now. It's just so easy. I like that it's a stick. It's easy for every day. Coverage is beautiful. I don't know if there's other people that are thinking what I'm thinking right now is I didn't do my hair and I'm doing my makeup first. Honestly, I think I'm more of a do your hair first and then makeup. But sometimes I am makeup first then hair because I like to like let my hair air dry. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she's doing her makeup before her hair. I understand what you might be thinking, but... Try to be strategic here too. Persona eyeliner in bronze. It's a really nice shade. One of the things I like about makeup is it allows me to practice mindfulness, especially if I'm not listening to any music while I'm doing my makeup. It's a process that you use your hands with and you're just in the moment. I guess it's some sort of self-care and self-love aspect to it too. To me, it's like an art. It's also self-love because you're putting effort into creating something with your face, with your body, which I think is beautiful. You're basically like painting your face in some sense. And I just find it very therapeutic. I know a lot of people have other opinions on this, but 
for me it's always been very therapeutic. On a day to day, I don't like to put mascara on my lower lashes, which is something new to me. I used to always feel like I had to put mascara. I found that it just gives me raccoon eyes way faster. I actually like the look of just no mascara on the bottom and then I just put this on, which is an essential for me for every day. It just allows my eyes to look a little bit bigger and it just makes it pop. I really like it. Um, it's the Makeup Forever in the shade Boundless Bisque. The Say Bronzer. Uh, it's called Say Sun Melt in Medium Bronze. It's so perfect for every day because it's very natural and wearable and easy to blend. It's just so good and i just been loving it. It just gives you like the little bit of bronze that looks so natural and like you just look like you were in the sun just slightly bit. <laughs> you definitely had your SPF on but maybe you forgot to reapply at some point so you just have a little bit of a bronze. That's like the look this gives you. One of the things that I think would be cool if my channel ever grew and I could actually go to these events with companies is that I would love to meet founders. I think that would be so cool to hear about their story, hear about their process. Anyone who starts their own business I think is incredible for it. So for me, like I would love to know how everyone got started and just hear about their process. To make it more cohesive, I also like to like put it on my lids a little bit like this. Brings everything together. It's the slightest little thing, but it makes the biggest difference. Like this powder, I can't live without it. It's so good. I'm gonna use my Nude Stick Slush in Magenta Magic. It's so beautiful and it has like a little bit of a highlighter shade in the middle. Oop, that was a little too much. For every day, actually, this wouldn't be the one I would go for. Although it is very beautiful, but it's very pigmented. But it's also very blendable, so we're good here. For every day, I actually really like... This is the one I've been using nonstop. The Say ones are very natural. And this pink one in the baby shade is really nice. I really like this one too, just because the color is so beautiful. Pat McGrath's contour lip liner. It's like a beautiful brown, I think. I used to love this lipstick from MAC. I used to wear this every day for my 95 when I first started. It's a little bit pinky. Hourglass in Crave gives you a nice little gloss. Finish everything with the Calorie Setting Spray. It's like summer in a bottle. It smells like coconut. It's so nice. Okay, that's my everyday, a little bit more glammed up look. I'm gonna do my hair and we're gonna head out, so Good. Here's my Nancy inspired outfit. Well, you guys can see. This is what we're working with. These pants are from H&M. I'm gonna let my hair fall down on its own. I just did my hair with the air. this microphone I hope it sounds okay I've been wanting to just step up my microphone game hopefully you guys can hear me better now I think I did the settings correctly but we're continuing the Nancy Myers inspired day we just came back from the farmers market and then we went to Trader Joe's I love Trader Joe's flowers we did end up getting the cherries and we got some herbs to make for the cucumber sandwich that I'm about to make I'm making a carrot cake from Allison Roman I love her content we make her Thanksgiving dinner every year I just love the way she cooks it's very like relaxed and easy so I'm excited to try it and see how it comes out seems like a cozy Sunday thing to do so let's get started I'm gonna put the flowers in a vase so let's start with that for the flowers I'm gonna put it in this vase I think I think I will use this one because I just realized that there's these flowers here that are hard to cut I also can't cut this one. I'm gonna try to get some of these flowers out of here. Very cute. 
cute. I love it. My boyfriend did just get me these flowers too, but I feel like you can never have too many flowers. Even the kitchen. I'm gonna change my shirt because I don't wanna get it dirty and I don't have like an apron. So we need flour, Greek yogurt, oh, one pound carrots. I'll leave the recipe of this or the video that Allison Roman made for this carrot cake in the description below in case you guys wanna make it. But let's get to it. boyfriend's peeling all the carrots. We're gonna have some June shine. I don't know if you guys are familiar with June shine. I feel like it's more of a West Coast thing, but fun fact, the guy that started the company is a high school friend's best friend, and the high school friend works for the company. He's apparently like, like a big manager there. I think it all started in San Diego, and then they went to New York, and then they have a store in Santa Monica. That's when we got introduced to it, and we went to the Santa Monica store, and then we ended up running into him, and it was just really cool to see someone from high school that you haven't seen in forever. We really like them a lot. They're really good and I feel like they're popping off. We see them all over California, so it's really cool that they're just becoming so big now. So we're gonna have some of these and keep cooking. I also just sealed all my pistachios for the carrot cake, which was difficult. This is definitely a love recipe. <laughs> the cake and then make the cucumber sandwiches which is gonna take about half an hour I think. Funny thing about Uno is my niece really likes playing Uno and that's all we played when I was back in Boston and I was like you know what we're gonna get it for our home as well just because it's just such a classic fun game. But let's finish up this cake. Oh I don't think I showed you guys. This is what the cake looks like couldn't find my round pan for some reason. I don't know where it is. So I had to make it in this shape, which would have been really fun if, cause I have a cake stand to put it in, but we're just gonna go with this. It'll obviously taste just as good, but not as cute. Funny thing about what I'm making is that everything has cream cheese in it. So I didn't really plan that well. And she's mix the cream cheese and the powdered sugar with a fork. Well, if I'm telling you that you don't need a mixer for the cake, why would I ask you to have a mixer for the frosting? for an hour. It's supposed to be like old carrot cake. But I went a little crazy on the pistachios, but I think it kind of looks cute like that. I'm a little nervous about the cream cheese frosting, but we'll see how it turns out. I need to figure out 
the battery life and everything. Let me know if you guys have any ideas on what you would have added on to this kind of day. I hope you enjoyed watching it. It was more of like a cooking video, but honestly, I feel like I've been wanting to cook more. It's just something that's very therapeutic. I guess anything I do with my hands ends up being a little bit more therapeutic for me. And something that I really enjoy during COVID is cooking is something I really ended up getting into and I really enjoy it. But I just been putting it on the back burner just with being so busy. It was nice to like kind of go back to cooking and following recipes. It was definitely relaxing but kind of a long day because it's already like 7.30. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.